Motherfuckers. It's really fucking early. All right. Good morning. I'm doing a fucking show in the morning. And you know, I, I, I said this when I went to sleep last night. I said, buddy, you're just lazing around in your underwear with all the lights on in the house, right? And I, so I could see my, my full body, you know what I mean? Usually, I'd want to have all the lights off, so when I look down to my legs, I don't think, like, oh, my God, like, there's fucking spiders all over me. Uh, my hair doesn't grow in evenly. But this morning, I woke up, and I said, you know, I don't want to do anything. I'm not going to do anything. So I, so I started going back to sleep, and my cat was running around. She wanted, she wanted her attention. She wanted her food and all that shit, and I decided, you know what? I'm going to fucking crank it up a notch today. I'm just going to fucking go full ham. Fuck it. You know, I, I blasted my guitar a little bit. I went out to the store, and I got me four of these delicious energy drinks. Uh, and and I'm just going to fucking go, go for broke. I don't know if it'll give you a heart attack. I know they sell them in four packs. So, But I have heard of people having heart attacks from these things. But this is one of the premier energy drinks of, you know the world I mean it's everywhere it's at all the sporting events yeah and and no I'm not talking about that Frankenstein's monster you know what I mean um, I really don't like that energy drink that black uh, can with the green logo I don't like it it tastes like fucking uh, dog shit to me but these guys man let me tell you something I'm not gonna brand them because I don't know if I'll get sued I mean they might send Scientologists to my house to just fucking take me out who knows? But I will tell you this. Uh, the slogan is, it gives you wings. I don't know if it gives you wings, man. And I think that we're a little loose with our definitions of wings. Because it seems we're just throwing the word wing on anything. In my opinion, we should go ahead and have to have that shit fly, right, to be a wing. That shit has to give you some lift and then carry you. Right? I mean, they talk about people got a, got a wing, you know, or a shoulder blade. Shit, I wish I had a shoulder blade. I'd be slicing people off. Get off me. You know? Teacher put his hand on my shoulder and off come a couple of them little digits. You know, maybe take off the, take off that pointer finger so he can no longer use a rotary phone like this. He has to fucking flick off the phone to use it. But... I'm talking about wings, and I'm thinking, lift me up and fly me to the moon, right? Just fly me across the, across the sky on those air currents, you know, that we can't see, but apparently birds can see them and shit, yeah. yeah birds got wings, you know, but we're steadily ascribing them to all kinds of other shit, like fucking buffaloes don't have wings, but we eat buffalo wings all the fucking time, right? I got a dude who is moderately not attracted, ugly, he's ugly, and I bring him with me somewhere, right? And, and he's really the life of the party, though. You ugly guys know what I'm talking about, man. You, you really come through with the fucking, uh, with the, the party time, excellent. You feel me? That's, I got a few buddies that are like that. And they're just fucking ugly. But when they show up, it's like, hey, 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 Mark. Oh, did I say, did I say Mark? My bad, Mark. I don't want to call you out. Here, I'll throw another one under the bus. Uh, Eduardo. Eduardo and Mark, y'all are both ugly. Y'all are both ugly together. But that's cool, you know? Uh, because that officially makes you a wingman. A wingman? Come on, man. You're not fucking flying with me. 
I'm not flying and you're not on my wing. Nor do you have wings that can lift you up and soar you through the air currents that we can't see, but birds can. Speaking of animals being able to handle shit, you ever wonder where's the best place to put your money? And no, I don't mean a, I don't mean a bank, you know, under your mattress or anything like that. When I think safety and security, I think turtles. Yo, yo, yo. Uh, trying to get rich, son. Trying to get it up in your butt. Broke ass turtle. Come on, put your shit. money in my back. Get out of my face with that broke ass bitch. Just do it, homie. Come on, man. Gucci up with cash money turtles. Cash money turtles. Go ahead. Put your money right in my back. Right in his we back. Straight. Broke ass bitch. Yeah. Get up. Be rich. Get all that money. You don't have to worry about getting old. One billion dollars. That's, That's what right. we talking about. With cash money turtles. Uh-huh. You don't have bitch. to be a broke ass bitch no more. Cash money turtles. And ladies and gentlemen, you just met the new sponsor to the show, Cash Money Turtles. Go ahead in and drop a line on in there. It ain't, it's a turtle bank. It ain't no piggy bank, but, you know, I find pig, pig and piggy to be kind of a derogatory term, you know. It took me a long time to figure out all the different ways that you can call, that you can call somebody, uh, a pig and it's never good right like you call that person a straight up pig well that's obviously negative but what if you call that motherfucker you know uh pork a porker oh no that doesn't work what's another word for pig swine right swine why would you know and, and I'll, I'll tell you a little story about the word swine I actually uh actually uh, had to do a little deep research and find out exactly what it was that these Muslim guys were talking about so I was locked up there was a let me tell you something man there's like one Muslim guy in every jail and his job is to show all like the the inmates how to be Muslims <laughs> so I had this guy Donnell man he was on my block uh, on C block with me and you know he uh he was all into that fucking Muslim shit, man. And let me tell you, until Eid came and he couldn't eat with everybody, man, that motherfucker dropped that shit quick too. But I remember we was in there and we were getting some, uh, it was like sausage and eggs in the morning. And I didn't fuck with the sausage. I, I thought that shit looked like ground up Rottweiler feet. That shit looked like, like turkey knuckle paste. Like they just ground up some some bird and some dog and some this and some that and some cat, some little horse meat, you know, throw in some bugs for filler and make a little a sausage patty. I ain't fuck with it. I ain't fuck with it because it was nasty. So I asked my man next to me, you know, he's over there just hanging out. And this was not Eid, by the way. This was before he found out about Eid and not being able to eat till night. But I said, hey, man, you want this shit right here? And uh, I swear to God, he looks he looked me dead in the eyes. He said, he said, brother, I don't eat swan. <laughs> he said, so you could just put that shit down and leave me alone. That started a cycle of confusion for me because. I mean, of all the animals I thought that could be tied up into this into this meat into this meatball that they made and they called it a sausage, swan was like the the last thing I would have thought was in that bitch, right? So I'm sitting here, man, waiting around, and nobody wants to talk to everybody, anybody in jail. You know, I don't want to get their get their uh, criminality in my mind. You know, you talk to somebody in jail too much, and you start kind of thinking the same crimes and shit, having the same dreams at night. 
But so I had to wait for the book cart to come around. The book cart guy, he brought around three carts. One was like law books. One was straight up encyclopedias and dictionaries. And the other one was all fictions. So I go straight over that encyclopedia and, you know, I'm sitting there looking up uh, Islam and their do's and don'ts and nowhere in the fucking whole, nowhere in the whole cart. And they kept the cart there for two days and nowhere in that whole cart could I find anything about Muslims not being able to eat swans, right? Bro, I threw the book down. I mean, it was the last option I had. The last option I had was the Encyclopedia Britannica. And I was I was under F for forbidden because I already looked up S for swan, uh, I for Islam, M for Muslim, you know, uh, D for diets, man. I was looking up all kinds of shit, man. Like, <laughs> I, I had just got past F for finger food, you know, and I said, you know, let me look up foul and forbidden right quick. And... Sure enough, man, over that last word on the last try, man, I threw that book down. And uh, it's funny because it was the Muslim guy, you know, uh, Habib. He came over. He started talking to me. Hey, buddy, what's wrong, man? And I was like, oh, dude, I'm just trying to study up on this Islam thing because, you know, apparently you guys can't eat swans. The guy looked at me like I was a fucking idiot. Swine. Swine, he said. Oh, you can't we can't eat swine. So what the fuck is a swine? A pig. A boar. Pork. Running bacon. Living breathing bacon ball. That's what a pig is. Right? And when you think about bacon, that's pretty much the that's pretty much the best thing you can get out of the whole world of pigs if you want to call somebody something and not be insulting to them. Cuz I mean, you talk about they got a snout, right? They're hefty. They're white and nobody likes that, right? Of course, you can find some uh pigs that have colors on them. There are colored pigs, you know? Uh, different, all different colors, all different kinds of shades of, uh, you know, I guess just white and brown and black, but whatever. I'm sure there's some redhead, I'm sure there's some ginger pigs out there, right? Anyway, I just thought it was fucking, uh, it was fucking crazy, man, because people can give you bad information like, like that, man. You ask somebody, you ask somebody a question about something you ain't never heard or seen before, they liable to tell you it was a swan that did it. A swan. You know what I mean? Now, I've never seen Swan Lake, but I hear it's beautiful. Ah! Ooh! I don't think I fucking polish that off. There we go. That's that sound. You know, you know when you got a fully. Even when there's just a little in there, a little left. Now, now let me let me tell you something else too. If you're having a drinking contest, you got to drink all that foam and shit at the bottom, because. I used to have contests with, with this. There's one guy who's famous for this shit. He said, and, and I'm going to go ahead and say who it is. Edwin, if you're listening, it's been years, but I'm calling you out. All right. If we're at CeCe's and we're having a pizza eating contest, right? And at the end of it, you've eaten three pizzas and I've eaten two and a half pizzas. But I ate, but there's nothing on my plate. There's nothing in front of me, right? And you have a whole bunch of crusts sitting in front of you with 
that still has cheese and tomato sauce on each piece. Each one of those crusts still has cheese and tomato sauce. You don't get to win. And I remember we had a big old argument about this too. You know, talking about, well, I don't eat the crust. I, 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 don't, I, I just don't like the crust and I'm not going to eat the crust. So each piece is just, you know, what? That little tiny bit of fucking of, of, of pizza pie that's in there? No. I, I, I disagree. And and let me tell you something. I had the same problem with the same guy. We used to go up to my little my little hideout, my hangout, and cases of beer, cases, you know. So we'd all be sitting in there doing weird shit, like either playing music or playing like Dungeons and Dragons, or like you know. I think one time we smoked some crack in there, and you know, don't worry, I'm not a crackhead or anything. I'm I'm fully reformed from all hard drugs, except for last week I got real fucking tweaked out. I regret that. It made me it made me uh super ill. But that's beyond that's beyond the point, right? And it's not pretty. It's it's pretty easy, right, to get beyond a point because a point's just like I mean. So like if if I'm if here's the point and I'm like right here, it's beyond the point. If I'm like right here or here or here. You can't even get on the point, right? Nobody, nobody really gets on the point. Nobody gets the point because everybody's fucking shit is all over the place. Which brings me to another thing. You tell somebody to get their shit together? What's that all about? Like, especially if you're talking to a group of people, y'all need to get your shit together. That is going to be one disgusting ball of shit because some people got like strong turds some people got that soft serve turd you ever seen those people who their turd comes out it's it's just so soft and consistent that it looks like the the play-doh masher thing where you put the play-doh in and a star comes out perfect star for real my 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 buddy forgot to flush the toilet one time and i went in there and i counted the points and that shit was five point star i could have sat there and cut slices off poked a hole in them and baked them joint solid and had like stars like a necklace not that I would do that but yeah yeah when you tell a, when you tell people get their shit together I just think of like you know gay sex really <laughs> that's, what, that's what I think about and don't get me wrong and there's nothing wrong with gay sex and there's nothing wrong with, with anything like that I mean I'm so pro gay that if you asked me if I'm gay I would say yes just because I don't want to hurt your feelings. And I'm not even gay. So that puts me in a real tough, real tough per predicament, you know? You know, but I would say, yes, lickety splits. And that's a whole nother thing we don't want to talk about is lickety splits. Because you know, what the fuck does that even mean? I mean, this is literally some lesbian language that we're talking, right? Lickety split. Oh, you know what I mean? Two uh, two gay guys and two lesbians heading from the same distance away, coming towards the same place. Who gets there first? The lesbians, obviously. Right? Because they got there and lickety splits. <laughs> this is the worst joke ever, man. This is the this is the worst. Uh, thing to to witness that's the worst what, what would you call that uh, observation yeah it's an observation another observation too uh if somebody tells you knock yourself out that really means no but i don't want to say no but i hope you get knocked out while you try to do whatever it is you're doing like hey buddy can i borrow your shoes knock yourself out I just there's some guy should be off to the side like don't don't do it because you know an idiot might just be like all right blam knocked out right <laughs> like, and, and I don't even know if that would be an idiot I think that would just be a really brave man because that's some hard shit to do and I've sat there and tried to just cut myself before and it's scary you know what I mean like 
I've uh, I've tried to take a punch without flinching, and it's like you flinch, man. You are gonna fucking everything's scary. You don't want to get fucking hurt. All right, Red Bull number two. Did I already fucking no? I didn't. And what's up with meerkats? It doesn't make any sense, right? And they kind of look like cats a little bit. I mean, maybe enough to where if, like, the guy counting was blind and he was like, all right, we got one cat. Um, We got another cat. We got another cat. What are you? I'm just a mere cat. Oh, okay. Another cat. Another cat. You know, motherfucker it, it, over there fucking uh, tricking people and shit. Like, what do you call a fucking uh, a honey badger is a mere dog, right? It looks kind of like a dog, if you ask me. I wouldn't mind having a honey badger, but honey badgers apparently don't take no shit. And they don't fucking play, you know? And uh, they get high by letting a snake bite them and shit. Motherfucker will get bit by a rattlesnake and go take a nap in the sun. We ain't doing that shit. Hey, if I get drunk and lay down in the sun, I might die. Motherfucking exposure is real with white people, man. Our skin just separates from the meat immediately. Blisters just... We just... I'll tell you you another thing, man. Two Red Bulls is not really... uh, It's not really what's detrimental to me. And, and and I've been drinking a lot of fluids because I'm trying to get my fluids back. I think I mentioned that I was tweaking out the other day for like three days, you know. I went out to the city and I got some, some serious uh, drugs because I figured I'm, I, I don't do drugs, generally speaking. And uh, I think I think my body can take it. And I have a lot of work that I got to get done by myself. I got three days to do it. So, train out to the city. Broke that glass. Grabbed it. Came on back. Worked my ass off. I've never been so organized in my life. Never. I fucking moved this place. I got a couple friends. Well, one friend to help me with uh, some of the larger items but all the rest man it was just me back and forth back and forth packing shit up i wanted to leave so much stuff and when it comes to moving time man i just want to leave shit behind and i knew that's how i would feel because when it was day three when i planned on starting packing i woke up and i didn't want to do it that's what made me get up and leave that's the same thing with with these red bulls i didn't want to do anything this morning but i said you know I can make myself uh, cooperate by dangling chemicals like a carrot in front of my face. Like, and I can't even believe I said the name of the uh, the company. You know, I've been hiding it for for a while now, but oh well. If they see it, they see it. You know what I mean. That's when I find out that the company that makes the beverages that I love so much is actually an evil corporation. Anyway, what corporation isn't evil? I mean, just like what president isn't corrupt? What political party isn't a cult? (laughs) You know, what fucking religious organization isn't a fucking cult? You know, who's not lying to you? Everybody's fucking lying. Everybody's fucking lying to you. So you might as well just make up your own ideas. This is, you know, and that's something I noticed about myself is if somebody tries to tell me how to do something, even if it's the right way, I recoil and reject it and then try to come up with my own answer, my own idea or my own way. That's fucking, and let me tell you, it's fucking difficult trying to come up with your own way 
to clean your ass or trying to come up with your own way to uh, <laughs> fucking snort something. You got to find up your own way <coughs> for everything. You're pretty much doing everything wrong, right? Like, if you want to learn about something, go out and do it. Oh, really? Well, I disagree. I think if you want to learn about something, read about something else. Sit at home and read about something that makes no fucking sense to read about. Right? You want to learn how to be a biologist? Well, apparently, for that, you could just go on Facebook. If you want to learn how to... uh pinpoint and study infectious diseases well I was going to say you should probably go to school for that but apparently you can do that on Facebook now too you can pretty much do everything on Facebook and everybody on Facebook thinks that they know everything on Facebook Facebook, Twitter you know Instagram uh at least on there, there's a lot of people that are still just being normal. But will you guys fucking come off it with all the extra shit? Because I don't believe that you really care about anything, you know? I don't. And, and you know what? This brings me around to the whole thing I was talking about wingman earlier. The life of the party, the ugly guy, you know? It's obvious why you're being the life of the party. Because you want to have a female touch your penis. Right? You're tired of touching it yourself. You're getting ashamed. You know? And you don't feel confident enough that you'll be able to just attract a woman by walking by. Hey, ladies. And then she's just like, oh, my God. And then they start fighting over you. That's not going to happen, right? So what do you do? You fucking, you, you get all dressed up like you think they want you to dress. And you go out and you scream at the people that they think, that you think they want you to scream at. You end up just standing there screaming at fences and screaming at Americans. Anybody who has, what, a flag now is, uh, is, is filled with hate. Is that it? Like, if you if you love your country, you hate everyone else. Fuck you guys. That's ridiculous. That's fucking ridiculous. That's like saying if you don't hate the president, you're a bigot. That's not fucking true. I don't hate him. Why would I? I don't know him. The only thing I know is what people talk about. You know, the guy lives 24 hours a day. And we take the reports that we get, which are like two minutes of his day, and we think that, like, what do you think he did? You think he, he, he lived his whole day and did that one moment in slow motion, and we just sped it up for the camera? No. You guys, get your heads out of your asses. Do yourself that favor. And... <laughs> Yeah, that's another fucking saying. Get your head out of your ass. How fucking dumb do you have to be that somebody <laughs> that somebody described you as having your back twisted in such a manner that your head is inside of your butt? All right? Like it's a funny saying immediately, but I like thinking about the first guy who ever Whoever heard that said to him, what was he doing? What the fuck was he up to that somebody was like, hey, buddy, get your head out of your ass. What the fuck was he trying to eat? He was trying to eat milk with a fork or something like God. He was he was literally trying to tune a fish. Right. Doesn't make any fucking sense. So, I swear to God, I'm gonna do a whole thing just about fucked up sayings. Oh man, I'm gonna come back at you next time with that. But uh, really quick, I just want to go ahead and make sure that I let you know 
who it is that's supporting me and who it is that is making sure that this podcast can stay on the air. Guys, I want you to take your money and I want you to slide it in the back. That's right, that turtle back. Yo, yo, yo. Uh, Trying to get get rich, rich, son. Trying to get it up in your butt. Broke ass turtle. Come on, put your money in my back. Get out of my face with that broke ass bitch. Just do it, homie. Come on, man. Gucci Gucci up up with cash money turtles. Cash money turtles. Put your money right in my back. Right in his back. Broke ass bitch. Yeah. Get up. Be rich. Get all that money. You don't have to worry about getting old. One billion dollars. That's what right. we're talking about. With cash money turtles. Uh huh. You don't have bitch. to be a broke ass bitch no more. Cash money turtles. Oh, God, those fucking turtles are gangster, aren't they? Except that one. He's <laughs> poor, broke, bitch ass turtle. You know, I feel sorry for that guy, you know. But I do, I do want to be that fucking. The. The brown turtle, he's, he's so old that he's like brown because over top of him, you saw what it said, right? Net worth one billion dollars. That's all you got to know right there. That's all you got to know. Hey, do me a favor. I want you to uh, ask me some questions. Come the fuck on. Ask me some questions. You ain't got nothing better to do. I don't care what kind of question it is. It could be the worst question in the world. Like, what kind of soap do you use for your feet? Followed by the second worst question. What kind of soap do you use for your hands? And then the ever inflammatory third worst question. What kind of soap do you use on your back? You know, and believe me, if it was up to the soap companies, you would buy a bar of soap for every part of your body. Elbow soap, back of the knee soap, calf soap, shin soap. You know what I'm saying? I think they should actually make bars of soap that are specifically shaped to certain parts of your body and just like hang it in your shower and you could just step in, right? into the bars of soap and then just go like and then the joint just fucking like lathers you up and then the bars of soap back off and water just washes you off right I'm saying you could you could get pretty gangster with auto wash showers and shit you know I, I'm pretty sure they exist. Just like I think they have auto wash toilets where it just fucking. It's like I, I, I believe they have to have some force. I think it's like fire hydrant force. Just like shoots into your butthole and just opens it like a mouth. When, when the wind is coming, like. You know what I mean? Like apparently that shit helps you out. And then, and then there's that little laser stream of water I hear that just goes all the way inside of you and just like swirls around in there, I think, right? It's like a water finger and then comes out and apparently you're fresh and clean and you don't have to do nothing but dry your ass, right? Which explains why I go into my friend's houses And there's all these towels on the wall that look like fucking Dalmatian skin towels. Because it's like a white towel, right? What's all them spots all over it? You know? Oh, that's where I fucking dried my ass, right? Oh, don't worry. My ass was clean from the bidet. And (laughs) let me tell you something. You buy a fucking bidet, you're just putting yourself in bidet. Because it's... there's no reason for it. Get yourself a teapot. Get you one of them one of them Kool-Aid jugs. And just clean your ass. Clean your ass. Use your hand. 
feel it. Am I still fucked up down there? Because if so, I'm not taking this fucking beautiful piece of linen that's hanging up in my bathroom and putting it on my dirty butthole. Okay? Use your brains, guys. Use your brains. Speaking of brains, dude, when I fucking, like, there's certain drugs that cause my testicles to shrivel up, like, so tight that they look like a brain. And then my penis becomes completely useless. Certain drugs, they do that to you. They make your, your dick just, like, goes away. I remember one time I was like, bro, where are you going? As he visibly just retreated into, like, this cavity in my groin. I didn't even know it was there. I didn't even know, I didn't even know your dick could hide like that. But this joint was gone. And believe me, it's not like, you know, I usually have that problem. And generally speaking, you know, when I'm, when I'm sober and I'm walking around, it's like, it's like a dead baby's arm. You know what I mean? Just like fucking hanging there. Just like, you know what I mean? Pretty much useless, you know? But still... You know what I mean? You could you could still like jam that shit inside of somebody and still work it and give them pleasure even if it's not hard. But when I did these drugs, yo, my shit just disappeared, bro. It was like taking a like a, a packing peanut and dropping it in some like rubbing alcohol and just watching it get just dissolved. I was legitimately scared. So scared I was calling people I know asking them do you have STDs I mean literally like people that I don't even that I never even had sex with just people that I shared a blunt with people that fucking had been around recently and I had dapped them up you know what I mean I fucking went over to the 7-Eleven and asked the dude behind the counter hey man you got fucking herpes or something cause after I left this 7-Eleven my dick started to disappear you know, uh, what, what do you, what would you even call that? That's not like herpes. That's like, that's like deserpes. That's like, <laughs> that's like that, sh that shrivel, that shrivel effect, that, that shrurpies, those slurpees, baby. And you know, it makes, it makes fucking sense too, because I never fucking wanted to even fucking have a slurpee just because it sounds so much like herpes. You'll never catch me fucking drinking those slurpees. Fuck that shit, man. It's too close. It's too fucking close. You know, and and speaking of which, I got up, man, pretty damn early. So it's like noon or so right now, and it's getting pretty close to my bedtime. I shouldn't even be up. I shouldn't even be up. I'm looking outside, and I'm like, God damn, dude, it's fucking, it's fucking oppressive and bright out there, man. What, what even is the fucking temperature right now? Let me go look that up. Yeah, I, sometimes I forget that I actually have a whole fucking another, a whole another thing over here that I can look at. So I don't even have to depend on just my brain. I could just tap into this computer here and find out things. You know what I mean? And that's just how I've been. I've been rolling like that all my life, just uh, being able to tap into the fucking you know, the spirit world and get my answers and shit. And now I can share them. Now I can actually, uh, I can find that shit on the internet, right? Like, okay, let's, let's go ahead. I'm going to use my superior surfing skills. What is the temp temperature Temperaturi, baby. What is the temperature temp temperaturi in Alexandria, Virginia right now? Bitch. What's the temperature in Alexandria, Virginia? So apparently Saturday, 1 p.m., mostly sunny, 96 degrees. Okay. Now they got an F and a C there. So I'm guessing that stands for fried chicken. I'm not exactly sure, but there's no, you know, they might have some copyright issues, so they couldn't put the K, so they just put the FC. 
Anyway, precipitation, 15%. I think precipitation is, is, is rain, right? Yo, it's so sunny outside. Whatever. Your humidity is 31%. And let me tell you, that's fucking, uh, that's up there, man. I, I don't, I don't want to go back outside. I tell you, when I went out and got these bullies, what was that, number two? Ah, number three. When I went out and got these bullies, baby. I started sweating before I even got to the goddamn 7-Eleven. I started sweating like... And, and the mask, dude. You put that mask on, man. And it's like you're just locking in that sweat, bro. And if you're like one of... If you're like the 90-something percent of Americans, man, you don't want to fucking heat up your fucking mouth because you might just break out with a little bad boy blister you feel me sunlight heat stress lack of sleep dehydration i mean these are all things that we're working with right now and to top it off you putting a mask on so you just breathe in your own hot breath right back on your hot breath your hot breath is getting a hot breath sandwich you over there vaping your own fucking bodily life and you just vaping your own shit back you know blowing it in and out and i'm surprised motherfuckers can't even fucking do that i'm fucking surprised man that people can even handle it and i see y'all walking out just in your car with your mask walking down the street with your mask you know that the laws and everything uh don't say anything about masks okay now we got guidelines that they ask you to follow, but you don't have to do that shit. And they also told you, they told you motherfuckers that if you're not around people, you can take your mask off. So why are you walking down the street by yourself with a mask on? Doesn't make any sense. And you probably got some smart ass answer, but before you give me your smart ass answer, okay, I want you to just think about the fact that you are uneducated and dumb okay and if you're educated and you're smart i want you to come on back at me and fucking throw something at me but right now i'm accusing you all of being uneducated and dumb and the only reason is because i got that fucking i got that radar for that for that i got that daydar baby i can spot a dimwit from a mile away you know what I mean? So I'm just letting you know that right quick. So you don't fucking think that you got some kind of some kind of angle that makes you a genius without having to go to fucking school for years. I mean, you can't fucking spend, you know, 90% of your day just being normal and then fucking 10% of your day clicking on headlines and read in headlines and think that you're some informed motherfucker. And every time, man, it, it, you know, I start questioning and people come back with more facts and statistics. But when I look up their facts and statistics, they're, they're wrong. So you guys just stop trying. Stop trying. You know you're not saving anybody and you know that you're not educating the people around you to keep them safe. You're doing it for clout, likes, and human interaction. You're fucking sad inside and you need human interaction. So you're doing this fucking thing. Facebook has become like the AA or like the only church in town. You know what I mean? You're walking around feeling like everybody hates you, you know, but all you gotta do is walk in church with a box of donuts and next thing you know, you are uh, friend Trump, you got you got friends all over you. You clumped up with friends. You fucking, you know, you bleeding friend juice. You bleeding your your friend's blood is coming out of you. You go take a piss and that shit is a color you've never seen before. And your homeboy is like, hey, mine's always like that, right? It's like girls, man. It's like when uh, when two girls have the same when they get the same full moon. I don't know exactly the uh, the logistics of it, but it's like if two girls are under the full moon together, they might turn into a werewolf or what is it, Voltron? I don't know, but they have something to do with their periods. 
And uh, we don't know. If Voltron had a, a female leg or a female arm, then we know for sure that there was some shit going on there. You know what I mean? Like, you can't have one female, one female leg and one male leg and then not expect some blood to come out that one side. You know what I mean? Or not expect that that other leg to just be that much faster. Yeah, we don't. You know what? I'm I'm probably talking myself into a fucking a dirty hole right now, and I don't like being in dirty holes. I don't mind being in a fresh, clean hole, but dirty holes. Mm -mm -mm. That's that D H. That's that dog house. That's that dirty, dirty hole. And uh, I don't want to talk myself into it. And I want to make sure that I got a whole good day of just bullshitting before tonight. I might even put out a whole nother video tonight. But I'm going to let you guys think about what you've done. Okay? Just really sit back, think about what you've done. And uh, when I come back, I want you to have a full essay for me. A full essay. I want 500 words on what you've done with your life. And then, once you're done with that, I want another 500 words on, on what you want to do with your life. And then after you're done with that, I want another 500 words on what you think is probably going to happen with your life. Alright? And it can't be like 500 cuss words. And it can't just be like the word win 500 times. Or like, <laughs> I'm going to get laid today right a hundred times you can't do that so make yourselves uh something to eat go make yourself a sandwich get yourself tucked into bed because i'm gonna go ahead and uh slam these other two red bulls and think about what it is that i wanted to say to you because i didn't i don't think i said it this whole fucking this whole show i don't think i said what it was that i wanted to say to you because i'm so fucking just you know, I'm going this morning. I'm going, man, and ain't nothing stopping me. All right, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow.